Hey guys, Dave from Cook and Chair here. Today's recipe is pierogies. These tasty little devils originated in Eastern and Central Europe. We're in no way claiming them to be authentic, but they're nevertheless delicious. So let's get started. So what I've got here is a large potato that I boiled up. And we're gonna combine this with half a cup of grated cheddar cheese. Of course, you can use your favorite cheese. A tablespoon of bacon bits. If you want to use real chopped up bacon, that's fine as well. A quarter teaspoon of granulated garlic. Then we're going to throw in a couple of tablespoons of milk. A quarter teaspoon of salt. And last but not least, a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Now I'm just going to grab my potato masher here and mash this up until everything is really nicely combined. Okay, now our filling is done, we're going to begin making our pierogi wrappers, and I'm going to begin by adding two cups of all-purpose flour to a bowl. Crack in a couple of eggs. And two-thirds of a cup of lukewarm water. I'm just going to grab my spoon here and just kind of mix things up. You're probably going to want to change to your hands later just to get a good consistency and a good mixture. So you're going to work this until you get a nice ball of pierogi dough, something like this. Okay, what you want to do now is flour a surface. This dough is a little bit on the wet, sticky side, so you might want to add a generous amount of flour and also flour your rolling pin. Now we're just going to lay the dough on and cut it in half just so we have two workable portions. Grab the rolling pin and we're going to roll this out until it's, oh, I'd say somewhere in the neighborhood of about an eighth of an inch thick. Now I'm going to grab a dough cutter here and this is just something I'd kicking around in the cupboard and it's perfect, it's about three and a half inches. So we're just going to go ahead and cut some circles out here. Remove the excess dough, but of course don't throw it out because you're going to make more pierogi wrappers out of this. Okay, so what we're going to do is scoop up about a heaping tablespoon of the mixture. Put the wrapper into the palm of your hand. Place the mixture into the center of the wrapper. Press it down. Fold it over and then just kind of seal it shut. After that, what I'm going to do is just take a fork and kind of push down on it. Well, this is going to do a couple of things. Number one, it's going to seal it shut and it's going to make a nice fancy design. Alright, what you want to do now is bring a pot of water to a nice rolling boil. Throw the pierogies in. and let them cook until they begin to float. And this will take somewhere in the neighborhood of about, oh, I'd say four minutes. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to do these in batches of about four to five, and this recipe will give you a total of about 12 pierogies. While they're boiling, don't forget to click that subscribe button because you don't wanna miss a video. After about four minutes, they're nicely cooked, so we're just gonna set these aside on a plate and you're gonna repeat this process for the rest of the pierogies. Lastly, what we're going to do is add a bit of olive oil to a preheated pan. Put the pierogies in and we're going to fry these over medium-high heat, I'd say for about two and a half minutes on each side, just so they're nicely browned. Now they're nicely browned, you're ready to serve. And there you have it, our pierogies. And believe me guys, these are creamy, cheesy, serve them up with some sour cream, and they are just out of this world. Head on over to cookandchair.com for this recipe and many more recipes. And don't forget to click subscribe and like our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.